Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you're aware, a couple of weeks ago, Fortnite was upgraded to Unreal Engine 5.1. With this upgrade, there were several new features, or I guess settings that were, uh, that came along with it. There's Nanite, which increases the detail of pretty much everything, trees, buildings, all that stuff. Uh, we have Lumen, which adds better reflection and interior illumination. And we have Virtual Shadows. Now we're going to take a look at some side-by-side -side images of the different settings going from nanite on, nanite off, to the going from like medium, high, epic, off medium, high, epic settings for Lumen and virtual shadow maps. So let's, so starting off with nanite, if you look close enough, you can see huge difference in the details. Looking at the building, everything here just kind of looks flat, and this is the offside. So everything looks a little flat, and there's not much to it. But if you come over here and look at Nanite On, the, the bricks kind of have a depth to them. You can see that there's additional detail here along the top. There's detail along the windows that you can't see over here. And then you can also see the grooves and the different, like, it gives the brick a texture. Um, to it where this kind of looks flat you can actually see like if you were to rub your hand against it, it would feel rough and looking at the trees here this tree in the background it's all washed everything kind of muddles together over here it's almost as if every leaf can be counted it has different coloring different shading there's a lot of extra detail and then looking down here on the ground you have detail on the actual dirt there's better detail on the grass and the flowers. Everything just has so much better detail. This adds just, it's a whole different layer of uh, visual quality with it on versus off. Now I don't have anything to compare um, what this looked like prior to the 5.1 upgrade. It would be interesting to see if there's any different, if it looks just like Nanite off, if there were, or if there would actually be additional detail uh, in those photos. And one other thing, when you are picking Nanite on, Nanite off, you can't change the settings while you're in a game. You actually have to wait till you're back in the main menu uh, at the load screen, and then you can switch between Nanite on and Nanite off. Moving on to the next, we're gonna look at shadow. And obviously, shadow off, no shadows. Shadow on gives you shadows. Everything has a shadow. Now pay attention to the change on this big tree is where you're gonna notice the biggest difference as we uh, go through the different, uh, the different settings. So it goes from off, medium, then we're gonna to go to high. When you go high, you get a little extra detail in the shadow, but not much. Um, Everything looks quite, quite similar. There's really, it's really hard to notice much difference between medium and high. Nothing that I could really tell that would stick out. Um, it does look like the trees have a little bit more shadow uh, from one tree to the next instead of it just being on the ground. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not medium. So yeah, it's, it's not much here, but when we do go up from high to epic, you can see a lot more detail. So it is starting to, I think if there was a cloud coming by or something like that, making it a little bit more overcast. But here you have some big gaps and all that. But when you come over here and look at the epic, there's a lot of tiny little bits of light coming in. So it just has better, uh, I don't know if ray tracing would be the right word, but it has better uh, tracing of where there's going to be gaps within the leaves to create a shadow on the ground. Same with down here where this is kind of like one big lump. You can see like little tiny bits of light coming through instead of one big shadow. So it just has more detail. Honestly, when you're playing the game, I don't know if you'd actually noticed much uh, difference and if it's even worth the impact to uh, your FPS while you're playing the game uh, to go up from even on medium to high to epic. Reflections, here you do, yeah, things do get quite noticeable. So here with reflections off, you're just kind of getting the shadow. 
if you pay attention to this side here, this is where you're going to see some big change. Well, you'll see it over here too, but this is uh, the easiest to describe because right here you see shadow. Then once you put it, it's called screen space. It doesn't have low or medium or high or epic. It goes screen space. And on top of the shadow, you're starting to see the mountain reflection. That's right here. And you're seeing a little bit of that mountain reflection here as well. And then going up to the next one, we're going to go from screen space to high. Now we're going from just having like the general outline of the mountain to a lot more detail. You got the mountains, you got trees, you got trees over here. So you can see a huge difference in the amount of detail just going from screen space up to high. You're even seeing more of a color reflection right here. It's pretty dark, not a whole lot of color, but you got like red, green, a lot more colors being reflected in the, the next step up. Then when we go to Epic, there's a little bit more detail, but not a whole lot more. You can see better outline of everything. The clouds come a lot more crisper. Everything's not as blurry when you're going up to Epic. You've got a lot more detail in oh, a lot more detail here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It must be a tree. Same with over here, like looking at the uh, the treetops here. They're a little. Bit, this is kind of rounded. This has a lot more detail to it, more of a shape. And then moving on to global illumination. This part, I found it kind of hard to see much what was going on during a game. It's hard to kind of look at this stuff because there's people all around shooting you, killing you. This is something you're probably best just to use while you're in the game. Um, as you can see, going from off to ambient occlusion, didn't do a whole lot. It actually kind of darkened the space a little bit from here to here. So there's not much change there. Um, I don't see any reflections on the wall or anything like that compared to it being off. So here I didn't see much. But when we stepped up from ambient occlusion to lumen high, it actually brightens the space up. You got some of the reflection right here everything got a lot brighter it's more along the lines of what you expect if the sun was shining into a room and then all that light was reflecting everywhere to brighten the room up so you go from here which is kind of dark up to more of a almost ray tracing style lighting and then moving on to the next one which is lumen epic again going from high to epic I don't see much of a difference. The lighting, it looks like it might have gotten a little brighter in the room, but there's not much difference that I can point out uh, when looking. It, it's hard to use these um, uh, the, the light coming in through the window as a frame of reference because as we go along, the sun's moving. But that could be it. Maybe it's just that when you go from Lumen Epic or Lumen High up to Lumen Epic, it has a better uh, directional correlation with the sun and how it should come in through the windows where this doesn't. But this is something you'd probably see a little bit better uh, live while you're playing around within a room and then just keep moving the settings up and up. Using screen grabs, it just doesn't do as much justice for this one anyways than it would uh, the other like Shadow and Night and the other settings. So what is everyone's opinion of the, uh, the new upgrade to 5.1? Do you like the additional detail, the like with nanite reflections, the global illumination, shadow. Uh, do you, there is a, a hit to performance just because it requires extra processing power to do all that. Do you enjoy having the extra detail and a hit to performance or would you rather have go back to the way it was and have less detail and better performance on your system? Anyways, if you found this, 
video helpful or useful, please like, comment, um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.